Welcome back to the channel, my Pokemon lovers and investors, collectors, rippers, whatever you want to call yourselves. We're back. We're back with more terrible investments. I had a couple of these left. Thank God that they are almost gone, but I wanted to show you guys two collection boxes that I picked up on a fire sale. I think I got these on Best Buy's website, maybe on Best Buy's website or GameStop's during a Black Friday sale. And it, it's the, oh God, boom, the Leafy Stomp, the Leafeon V-Star collection box. Who knows what's, what packs are inside, could be terrible. Same thing with this Glaceon box. Um, not the best. They, like I said, they were dirt cheap. But when I was buying a ton of these collection boxes, I really didn't understand Pokemon investing. I thought I was just buying two, three, four of these to keep long term. And I, I thought that all collection boxes did well. So that is a huge my bad on my part. And I was new. I was new to the investing space. But in today's video, we're just going to rip these, these little puppies open. So into the video all right so here we go we're gonna do this epic little ripage right here let's let's read this back let's just appreciate time raise a crystal star shield with a glaceon v star the, the the backs of these boxes are always so epic glaceon the ice puppy such a awesome pokemon um i can't really see what's inside i think there's a rebel clash pack and a vivid pack this is another reason why I wanted to open this, but uh, here we go. And it's, I got it. it's like it's like a like a sign sigh of relief because these are just taking up so much space in my area, and I I'm continuously buying collection boxes. Um, I'm learning from my mistakes, but here we are. Here is what we have. We have. Let's turn this one over. We got the code cards that no one wants. And I think, okay, so there's five packs. We're gonna, they don't look great. They don't, like, oh my gosh, I feel like they have dust on them. So we got the giant ice puppy card. Really cute. I like, I like the Glaceon V-Star card. So that's pretty cool. I think that's, that's a, that's cool, I guess. V-Star crap marker um, that I have 10 million of. And then we have the promos that are probably damaged. So here we go. We're just going to drop those out. That's gone. And, and they're not, they're, these cards are nothing special. We got the Glaceon V and the Glaceon V Star. So those, those are going to go over there. And here comes the packs, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hold our breath. Okay, we got a Fusion Strike. Okay. A Vivid with some Celebi artwork. Super cute. Oh no. Rebel Clash. Vivid. And fusion okay cool all right so two fusion strike i never thought that i would get to the point where i was excited to open fusion strike where what are what are we doing ladies and gentlemen what are we doing are we just are we just that desperate now um rebel clash with the Atelion artwork can we can it just bring us something i just just give us a chance baby just give us a, just give us a little chance um can we start off oh dude look at this they won't even come apart. And why does it look like there's like hella cards? I thought they're supposed to be... Am I tripping? Dude, I can't even pull, pull these apart. Oh God, one. Oh God, there we go. Look at it, they're just, they're still stuck. Are you kidding me? Is that two cards? It is two cards. Hold, hold on. Okay, okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, what the hell? These things are crispy. Fighting energy, here we go. 10 cards, ladies and gentlemen. Phalanx, I've got a Polyptoad, uh, capture another energy card. What I'm I'm liking about uh, the opening primarily, look at, oh my gosh, it's like, like so stuck on there. What I like about opening primarily Japanese is that uh, you don't get the code card and you don't get to the crappy uh, energy. So that's, that's awesome. If you guys are new to this channel, thank you consider hitting uh, the like. Okay, Magikarp. And our reverse Hatter Hatteri. Cannot, cannot pronounce that Pokemon's name. I am I am super dumb. And a Dig Diggersby. Diggersby is he's a cool Pokemon. Can't, can't really hate Diggersby. So now we're going on to some Vivid. We all know what's in Vivid. Chunkachu. This might be a hot take. 
but I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Chunk of Chew. I mean, I understand it's a VMAX card. It is what it is. Um, oh no, I, I, think, I think green code cards are bad, if I remember correctly. Uh, Croconok, oh God, here we go. Here's Sword and Shield for you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. If you, if you uh, subscribe to this channel because of Japanese, here we go. Here's why I uh, completely, oh, cute little Charmander card. I think I'll put that in my common. I don't re remember if I have this Genesect card. That's pretty sick. And a nothing, a absolute nothing. A little Puccino card, um, more vivid with the Ore Beetle. There, I believe there's no trainer gallery in the Vivid Voltage set, so hopefully, okay, we got a good code card. That that's that's the thing about about uh, Sword and Shield is the stupid code cards. Like you almost, it almost ruins the pack opening experience. You're just like, you're like, okay, well, there's not going to be anything in this pack. Dust school, Voltorb, a little watercolor Voltorb, Weedle, Drillbur, Clefairy. Another stupid energy card, and we actually got a hit. A Drapion V, one of the worst Pokemon of all time. Maybe top, maybe top 25 worst Pokemon of all time. This is a card is absolutely ugly. It is absolute crap. So hopefully, I don't know if the collection boxes are necessarily uh, seeded. Man, these box these packs are just ripping like freaking they're ripping like butter but um hopefully that wasn't our hit for this box man like if you it, surprisingly these things are still on tcg player for like 30 bucks whoever is holding on to these things good luck good luck selling them i sold a few on offer up not too long ago and uh, i wanted to save two for this video so a little Grim Snarl action and a Hollow Toxicity. Pretty cool, actually. Pretty, pretty cool toxic Toxicity card. I like that. So that's gonna go over here in my Hollow. I don't have a Hollow uh, collection. And it's not looking good. It's not looking good. It is. Look at how. Look at that. Look at that rib, baby. Look at that rib. Four to the front. Four to the front. I was actually stoked on this video. Uh, I, I was like, man, I can't wait to open some Sword and Shield. We got some cool collection boxes, but we saw one more. The, the, there might be some Evolving Skies, hopefully, in this next <laughs> in this next pack. Uh, Eevee, we got a Galarian Obstagoon and a Huntail. Oh my god. Horrible. Horrible. Alright, time for box number two. We got the leafy on right there. Boom, we're gonna cut that. Look at, uh, tangle up the uh, position with leafy RV star. The, there's so much text on this, on these boxes. For for what you get, it's like, you. it just sounds like it's a bunch of stuff, but it's a lot of graphic design for a whole lot of nothing. But here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna just crack right into that. Boom. Boom, another V star. Oops. Another V-Star box. Again, I think we have five packs. Crap code cards. It's gonna be a surprise of what we get. Of course, of course, we get the Leaf Dog. Leafy Dog card. Big card. Cool, I guess. If that's your thing. If you're a collector of Giant jumbos, I guess that's awesome. I guess you're hyped. I'm just throwing plastic absolutely everywhere. Leave on VSR, pretty cool. Who knows, one day people might actually want these. If they do, that I'm sitting on a gold mine. I have so many of these. And now to the packs. Fusion Strike. More Vivid Voltage. Oh, it's getting worse. Rebel Clash, Fusion, and Vivid. Okay, so it's the same. So, it must have been around the same uh, time I bought these. Gosh, damn, they're so, that was so freaking long ago. Here we go. Rebel Clash. The only thing to pull out of this set is the Giovanni, I believe. So here we go. Here we freaking go. Wish your boy luck. 
Let's see if we can get any pulls from this. It's it's sad that I'm excited to uh, to open Fusion Strike, man. Fusion Strike. I used to think that was such a throwaway set, and I didn't really want it. But uh, little did I know that I really, really that is an awesome Magic card. Hold up, hold up. This is the this is the chase from the entire set. Just Pikachu, super fat and cute, and Magikarp. Sorry, 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 I got a little distracted. Bronzong, Bronzong, and a Hollow Apple, Appleton. It's cool. You guys think I'm playing, but dang, that is a sick Appleton Hollow card. So I always forget that Appleton is the evolution of uh, uh, Appleton because there's Hydrapple, and I'm I am so confused on the oh let's let's say fusion strike for last but yeah I was, i'm so confused of uh what's it of how that happens i just totally forget totally spaced out but let's 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 move on let's proceed one two three four of chonky madness can we just pull the little chonkster himself i don't really i don't remember what else is actually in this set i haven't opened tons of vivid execute chatot uh clubopus we got alcrimi and i think we have a hollow oh well that was awkward i think we we're supposed to have it a hollow but i guess the electric dog electric puppy is is super cool that is going to my common binder as well uh stay tuned maybe i'll do a common binder video that will probably get like five views because if it's not alt art and if it's not investing, you guys don't care. It's a, it, videos are, are, are dubs. My favorite trainer of all time, Alistair right here. Alistair is so freaking sick. A little trainer metal, Kakuna, more chat hot action. Joltik just powering up a house. He's like, don't worry guys. I know, uh, I know the lights just went out, but I'm just gonna just blast it, you know? Cottony, Mud, Bray, Slugma, just raw Slugma, just no shell. Uh, Mud, Bray again, and this crap. Oh, gosh, shoot. Just so much plastic, so much waste. Now on to the greatest set of all time. Little Fusion Strike. If you're new here and you don't know about Sword and Shield Fusion Strike, I was, I was a joke. I was totally, I was totally kidding. One, two, three, four to the front. Fusion Strike is not the best set, but the Gengar is in here. The Espeon is in here. And knowing me, nothing is in here. Absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna get wrecked per usual. Qualfish Smeargle, that is one of the sickest Smeargle cards I've ever seen. It's, it's, when, it's times like this when I go back and I, I just miss some of the best common cards. A little more Peko. Super sick, Latios. Shout out to the new Dragon set coming out. So Latios, that is going to be a such a fun set. And a double Latios. What is the chances of that? Amazing, so crazy, wow. Complete, complete stokage from me. And again, 30, how to throw 30 US dollars just completely down a drain. Completely down the drain. And we can we get one good code card? It could it could change. This whole thing could just flip. It's like golf. All you need is one good shot to bring you back into into the light, into uh, stokage. So here we go. Our last pack. Uh, Makohita, one of the most annoying Pokemon to fight in all of the video games. Snom, always with that 3D art. Wow, wow, Snorlax. That is cool. We're gonna put that over here. Common binder. Common binder. We got a Pan Seer, uh, the Fire Monkey from X and Y, or Black and White, sorry, and a Molita. Oh, wow. And thank you for playing. And that is what you get when you open <laughs> these collection boxes. Uh, like said 30 something dollars normally probably now and so in scarlet and violet i know they're like 40 50 bucks and you it, it they're tough they're tough it's going to be a, uh, a hard time um scarlet and violet obviously better pull rates but that's for another video 
thank you guys for sticking with me and watching this opening. If you guys could leave a like, leave a comment, it goes a long, long, long way. So until next time, I will catch you guys later with a fresh new video. I'm trying to keep these videos coming every day to you guys. So until next time, peace.